Next up on WTV, Frisco Bulls sideline reporter contest and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Wednesday, December 6th, and I'm Wade Glover with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. One student on campus is trying to become a sideline reporter for a college football bowl game. WTV's Marissa Udeen has the story. The newly created DXL Frisco Bowl is a football game owned and operated by ESPN Events, which is a subdivision of ESPN and is affiliated with the American Athletic Conference. The SMU Mustangs will face the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs in the DXL Frisco Bowl at Toyota Stadium on December 20th. ESPN has agreed to partner with FC Dallas to host and manage the football game with Frisco ISD students having the opportunity to apply to be a sideline reporter of the Frisco Bowl. So the student sideline reporter program is something that we developed um, to get the high school students of Frisco really involved in this first year bowl game. Um, you have great programs here at Frisco ISD, especially like the one here at Liberty High School. And so this is an opportunity for the Frisco Bowl uh, to provide a real live opportunity for a student to come on the sidelines throughout the bowl game and provide updates to fans. The sideline reporter for the Frisco Bowl offers a unique experience for high school students as a part of its social media coverage for the game. WTV's Julia Savage is a finalist for the role of sideline reporter, something that fits with what she wants to do for a career. I think that being a sideline reporter for the Frisco Bowl will help me a lot later on in life because I am going to college for digital media and broadcast journalism and if they see that I've had the experience being a sideline reporter, then it will just make it easier for me to move up steps faster and show them that, that I've had that good experience. Reporting for Wingspan TV, I'm Marissa Udeen. The winning sideline reporter will be chosen based off social media likes and shares. To vote for WTV's Julia Savage, retweet and like Wingspan's pinned tweet. Being part of an athletic team is not the only way to stay fit. WTV's Divya Morali has more. Ask any doctor or nurse and they will likely say staying active is the key to being healthy. With the Mayo Clinic recommending at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise or 75 minutes of rigorous aerobic activity a week. Although hundreds of students on campus are part of an athletic program, some students on campus struggle to find the time to work out. Well, I played soccer for like 10 years, but um, when I started getting into like music and choir and theater and stuff in middle school, I just stopped because like I didn't have enough time to do all of it. In order to make on-campus exercise more accessible, organizations such as Pulse and the Zumba Club present alternate ways to stay fit. Zumba incorporates dance with exercise, creating a stress-free environment for students. So Zumba is not, not just exercise, it has unique qualities that make it stand out of other competitors. It's a combination of aerobics and resistant training that there are like different standard levels of Zumba training program that people of all ages, abilities and goals can come together, participate and improve themselves. Additionally, Stomp Out Stress is a program where students participate in yoga and is hosted by Pulse in order to reduce stress and promote fitness among students. We wanted to do something that's health oriented because that's just how kind of I am, but it's not an athletic class or period or anything like that, so it's open to everyone. So whether you're star quarterback or you've never played a sport in your entire life, it's something you can come to and participate. Stomp Out Stress Yoga is every other Thursday in the competition gym during advisory, while the Zuma Club hosts its meetings in room G114, Fridays at 8.15 a.m. Reporting for WTV, I'm Divya Morali. Girls basketball and wrestling competed yesterday. Here's today's Sports Minute. Wrestling competed in a tri dole meet at the Nest last night against Aisle and Burleson High School. The boys had the edge against Burleson, winning with pins from junior Precious Essien, seniors Jonathan Green and Matt Thompson, and sophomore Ethan Quails. The Red Hawks would fall short to Aisle by a final score of 42-22. The girls compete at the TLC at Trinity, and the guys compete in the Reedy Six-Way Duels on Saturday. Girls basketball faced off against the number one 6A school in the state as they played Duncanville at Duncanville last night, falling to the Panthers 64-32. With the final game of non-district play finished, the girls face off against Wakeland on Friday at Wakeland. This is Davis O'Brien reporting for Wingspan TV. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. 
WTV's Neha Paramala brings you today's announcements. This week, JWAC will be raising money for students in Guatemala through Candygrams. Everyone will be able to buy candy canes with customizable holiday messages for their friends and loved ones during advisory and lunch from today to December 12th. Candy canes will be delivered to recipients during class. Chess Club's last meeting of the year is today after school in room C217. There will be no meeting on December 13th, but the club will start back up in January. Girls Soccer has Spirit Night at Hat Creek Burgers today from 5 to 9. Place your receipt in the bucket to support LHS Girls Soccer Booster Club. SWIM has a meet at the Frisco Natatorium tomorrow in the North Texas 5A TISCA Invitational. Girls Basketball plays Wakeland Friday at 6.30. Boys Basketball plays Rowlett at home at 7.15 on Friday. The senior ad deadline has been extended to December 10th. Buy your senior ad at the link. FFA has a meeting December 13th after school in room E101. That's it for today's daily update. This has been Wade Glover for WTV.